Welcome back to the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. If it is your first time here, please click on subscribe and the notification tab. It doesn't cost you anything to do that, but does help a little channel out big time. I feel like my favourite YouTuber at the moment, which is Tech Moan, because we're about to do an old school tech, but that is something still very current within Japan. So instead of calling myself Tech Moan, I'll call myself Tech Unmoan. Sorry, Tech Moan. But anyway, I've been uh, to Big Camera which is an electronic store in Japan, because uh, one of our members, Michael, had said it would be really, really cool if you could still buy old school cassette players and the cassette tapes that go with it. And of course, in Japan, you can, but I'm not talking about second hand. I'm talking about brand new. There is a whole selection of every sort of tape deck you can imagine, including little Walkmans. Some of them are really good quality, some are not really good quality. Basically, you pay for whatever quality you want, like in the good old days. But they don't just sell the tape players. When you go into Big Camera, they sell... Well, they sell mini-discs for a start, which is a wonderful thing, because I've got a mini-disc player. But they also sell brand new compact cassettes. And uh, they come in different lengths. I only got a 10-minute one, but they go up to, to 90 minutes. And I thought we'd do just a little unboxing and unwrapping of this old school tech to bring back memories for all of us that are old enough to remember. So here we are with a brand new new stock cassette tape. Yes, they still make them and sell them in Japan. I got this from Big Camera. This is uh, just a 10 minute one, so I'm assuming that they might have the old school answering machine still that take these particular tapes and they do go up to 120 minutes and the longer the tape the more you pay for it. I know I said 90 minutes but uh, I do remember now it's up to 120 minutes. It's a Maxwell tape and uh, that's the back of it there if you can read Japanese. I certainly can't but uh, the thing that is missing from music media now is the joy and the pleasure of actually holding something, opening it up and using it so it's going to be a thrill, literally, just to uh, open this tape up. This is the only reason why I bought it, to unpackage it for you here now, for uh, those of you that are old enough to remember. So we get the, the little tab at the top. It was always hard to get the tab going, wasn't it? Uh, that's the case there, title card, where you can put whatever you're recording on your tape. What's the tape look like? The tape is actually uh, quite a nice tape. It feels not bad quality, to tell you the truth. They, I remember the end days of tapes in my part of the world. Tapes became very cheap and nasty. Uh, quality, but uh, this looks uh, not too bad at all. My finger's not wi my finger's too big now to wind on the tape. In the old days, it was much much easier. And then in here, you get your index card, and you also get some stickers which you would stick on your tape once you had finished recording it. So there you go. That is the cassette tape. Find a pen, hopefully this will work. And uh, we want to see the run on, or the lead on of the tape, if we can. There it is. I don't know how they've uh, spliced this in, because it looks like it's, uh, remember in the old days? Uh, yeah, it is a slightly different color. Or is it? No, it's not. In the old days, you used to have slightly a little bit of a different color there on the tape as, uh, as a run in would happen. There you go. Can't tell you anything about it. It's not a metal tape, I know that much. And of course, once you've finished... Uh, yeah, see this thing here? That's what used to be on uh, in between the run-on and the tape. This little bit here. 
All I can tell you about tapes, if uh, you don't know anything about them, is after you record on them, you break off the little uh, notches here, and that stops it from being able to record again. You can stick a little bit of tape over and uh, re-record over them if you like. But uh, yeah, it feels really good to hold something physical in the hand. So that was it. That was our unboxing of a cassette tape. And uh, as mentioned at the beginning of the video as well, they do have other sorts of formats here, uh, such as mini disc. Uh, mini disc was really unsuccessful in America. So if you are in America, you might think it was a failed format. But mini disc, very big, very popular in Japan, and uh, still today you can buy the discs and the players. We've been looking at the players uh, all throughout the course of the week that we have been in Japan here and there is a number of different players going on especially the shelf system ones are just absolutely beautiful so look even if you can't import a player why not just get online and grab yourself a disc or a cassette tape and remember the old days by uh, by opening it and just holding it and getting the uh, experience that we all remember from years gone by anyway that's it wherever you are in this big white wonderful world have a good morning afternoon evening or night We'll see you again soon on the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. Traveling around, taking 